It's an entirely different kind of flying altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind of flying. flying. What? Besides, I haven't touched what? any kind of flying. What the hell was that? What? Why did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Airplane, which was originally made in 1980. I am excited to join this reaction and commentary because I've been seeing this on a lot of reaction channels, just like the thumbnails of this film. And it seems like people are having a really good time with that. Now, I haven't watched this film, nor have I watched the videos with this film in it, but I have noticed that this has been popping up on a lot of thumbnails. And I'm really excited to kind of like, you know, check it out myself. I mean, I know a couple of like, just people just from the cast that uh, just aren't, goofballs man <laughs> like our straight goofballs i mean there, if there's anybody that um i can kind of like relate to the people that are in this cast it's definitely uh mr bean like mr bean level of goofiness and i i love that like it's just genuinely funny i think everybody can kind of relate to mr bean comedy uh, which is which is awesome i think he's just incredibly sophisticated in his own regard but i can make a whole video about that later on in life um the thing that that does catch my eye which usually doesn't i don't pay attention too much to this aspect of a film before i watch it and that is like you know the rating the rotten tomato rating or anything like that now personally i don't give two craps about ratings i'm kind of over it i mean unless it's like with food <laughs> unless it's with food where like there could be some medical uh, uh information <laughs> that could help me uh then that's when i pay attention to the rating from films movies for art in general i just don't pay too much attention to it that's why when a lot of people say hey man you want to give ratings for some of these not really like if there's anything which i hope to bring forth later on in the future of this channel is to do reviews and more highly sophisticated reviews with deeper editing and analysis where i can actually go forth and you know really dive deep in a scene or a movie or a film that i've watched etc whatever themes all that good stuff like i can't I, I just, I, I, the ratings just don't matter to me, man. Like, I just, I don't care too much about it. So, uh, when I mentioned that the ratings did catch my eye, I genuinely am curious. This has a 97 right now, currently on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm really intrigued because that just means that this is probably going to be a genuinely funny film. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to walk into that with like that being my expectations. It's just something that I happen to see before I'm like getting ready to uh, rent this film. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of jump into this. You guys know the drill. Like always, if you want to support this channel or support me, the best way to do it is through Patreon. Then you can have the full length to this film. Maybe your favorite part's not in the YouTube edit. You could do that. There's poll vote there's as well as the giveaways we've been doing early access it's a great time over on the patreon it's forever growing so that's really cool again guys you don't have to do the patreon and still support your boy you can leave a like comment and subscribe as well as sharing it if you like it that much or at the very least just pop open your computer get some popcorn and snacks as we hop right into airplane again guys if you want to watch the full length to these and maybe your favorite parts not into the youtube edit Patreon it out. You guys know the drill. I say it every video. But just in case if you're new here, check out the Patreon for full lengths. I want to see no comments talking about, oh, my favorite part. I say it every video. <laughs> wow, they doing a, a jaw steam with the airplane. Is that what I'm seeing here right now? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> it's funny because I'm, I'm going to be watching RoboCop and I think I, I just saw him right there. <laughs> oh my God. No way. Oh, bro, what the... F <laughs> Who is behind the wheel of this plane, my guy? No, the white phone. <laughs> dude man like I, I like this type of comedy what is it what what is this type of comedy other than like like goofball energy comedy what is it smoking or non-smoking smoking please 
Have a nice trip. I'm so mad. I'm so mad, man. These are like walking dad jokes, man. These are walking dad jokes. I'm so mad. <laughs> it was literally smoking. <laughs> Got to be running cold upside down his head, you know? Hey, hey home, I can dig it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's hilarious. Jay, I did the same old, same old. Mac yourself approach, slick. The gray matter back, lot performers down, not take TCB in, man. Hey, you know what they say. See, I can't believe that's hilarious. That's hilarious, man. Slack of black over. Dude, yo, that was gold, man. That was gold. That was hilarious. Oh, man. That might be my favorite part in the entire film, but if it's like that, oh, my goodness. Flight 209, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger. Huh? LA departure frequency 123. <laughs> Dog, it, it's just nonstop, man. It's nonstop. It's nonstop. I remember when we first met. It was during the war. I was in the... <laughs> She's so tired of his shit, dude. <laughs> She's so tired of his shit. She's like, man, I'm just trying to read my single piece of light paper, please. Yo, you know what these are making me realize, bro? These are making me realize, like, these were, like, the original scary movies. <laughs> they just weren't mocking anything, oh, like, like blatantly, but I'm pretty sure they're probably, like, having some subtle jabs at movies and films with their comedy. It's just that whenever I start to talk about Lane, I always get so carried away. I lose all track of time. Oh, my goodness, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> sometimes it's like that, though. It really is. Because, man, it's like sometimes when you get into an Uber, you just don't want to talk. But the Uber driver just just keeps. They just want to freaking talk to me. Tell me their whole life story just because I said hello to them. Bet, babe, slide a piece of the pole to drink so I run the job. Look at here. I can take grease and chomp it on some butter and drag through the garden. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she's like i i don't i don't know <laughs> that is that is brilliant right there that's the funniest thing i've seen so far cream no thank you i take it black like my man oh my goodness that's where the meme is that's where the meme is from the meme is from there Wow, I just feel like my, bri my like my bridge of imagination just intertwined. That's hilarious, man. Cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? Do you want me to check the weather, Clarence? No, why don't you? Do <laughs> what? The fuck? What? what? Joey. No, Joey can stay here for a while if you'd like. Could I? Okay, if you don't get in the way. Flight two zero nine to Denver Radio. Climbing to cruise Bro, that was that was a sly joke. That was a sly dark joke. They slid that in there swiftly. I'm the co-pilot. You are Kareem. I've seen you play. <laughs> I can't. Like what? Right, Clarence. <laughs> oh, he's not bothering anyone. Let him stay here. This kid's between an NBA super legend. <laughs> And and what could potentially be oh, a very strange old guy is <laughs> all I'm going to say. Tell your old man to drag Walton in the near up and down the court for 48 minutes. Yeah, yeah. How about that? How about that? Right? How about that? So I already know that, like, I'm probably not going to really say too much about the filmmaking aspect, like, at, at a level of, like, you know, my other commentaries but what i'm what i am going to do is observe the comedy and the way that it's written and how it's written and how the jokes the punchlines are made because it's really all genius because there's intention behind them uncovering that intention is called analyzing hey striker how about a break i'm getting tired yeah all right take five 
Thanks. I've Dude, there's so many levels to to every joke. There's just levels. It's just like it just keeps going. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving, man. Excuse me, sir. Would you like some coffee before we serve dinner? I love how the old lady next to him is literally just forever dead now. <laughs> she's forever dead. She she's gone, dog. <laughs> At first, they didn't know what to think of us, but soon we gained their trust. <laughs> yo yo man dude how do they do this man that's really funny completely isolated from civilization watch them start balling no one had ever outlined a physical fitness program. if they start balling i'm going to, i'm gonna die dude game skills and finally advanced competitive theory i was patient with them and they were eager to learn <laughs> they seemed to enjoy themselves Bro, they're balling out, man. They turn into like the Harlem Gold Trotters. <laughs> the Harlem Gold Trotters, bro. That's what they turned out to be. Tried a number of jobs. Well, I could go on for hours, but I'd probably start to bore you. You know, I really couldn't blame Elaine. She wanted to. Oh my goodness, he performed some puka. <laughs> this dude, yo. Every time he tells a story, people are just gonna die, man. <laughs> Joey, have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? B bro, this dude is wilding out, man. Though he doesn't give a damn. <laughs> He's like, oh man. I think the man sitting next to me is a doctor. Sir, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. You a doctor? That's right. Oh my God, there he is. There's the, the goofiest goofball of all time. Him and Mr. Bean are just... Like, I'm not sure if they made a film together, but they should. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Dude. Why is she busted out eggs and then birds came out of them? All right, yeah, I'm I'm tripping. What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Tell the captain I must speak to him. Certainly. This is nonstop, nonstop with jokes, just nonstop. Editing this is going to be crazy for me, dude. No, I mean I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I mean, we can't land for another two hours. Oh, my Fog God. Down everything this <laughs> Could you imagine if life was like this? Could you imagine if, like, just a simple conversation just was able to just spin out of control that easily? Oh, my God. Why does he have the goggles on? <laughs> Why? Why does he have the goggles on? This he has his swords. On. Dude, this dude was balling. What is going on, man? Because we experience an itching, a rash. From there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system. Oh no! Your muscles spasms. Oh my god! Yo, shout out to these actors, man. <laughs> they just—I can just tell these people are probably just really fun people to be around in just general public. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're able to be that goofy, you're probably a really damn good time. Pull it out and blow on it. What the hell's going on up there? What on earth was he doing? What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, the disregard for absurdity is just cracking me up, man. Rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? <laughs> Just absolute madness. Absolute, wow, that, that was... I can't show y'all what just happened, but there were just a... There, were, there was a... There was, there was yiddies on the screen, bro. <laughs> that was pleasant. Chef, no! I bet you have exciting things happen all the time down there. That's literally white people and their dogs. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. Just casually, just like, yeah, you know. You know my, my dog is, is, a, is a nice dog. It just, 
absolutely getting pounced on. No, I'm in. <laughs> Training program. It's unbelievable. Oh my god. I'm assuming that's what the joke was about. <laughs> Thought of drainage in mind. So we had to take a Bro, this dude. Are you kidding me? There's no way. He's killing everyone. An entirely different kind of flying altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind, kind of flying. flying. What? Besides, I haven't touched what? any kind of. What the hell was that? Why, why did he do that? <laughs> What? <laughs> that, that, was, that was so random. What the fuck? Chief, we need a free landing flight check. Tell him I'm in the dispatch office and I want it here fast. It's your wife. I want the kids in bed by nine. I want the dog fed, the yard watered, and the gate locked. That incredible. Incredible. The fact that they could think of that is just incredible. They're so good. That's such a good freaking skit man damn it how are you that smart <laughs> how are you that like sophisticated in the act of absurd comedy you're insane that's that's the reason <laughs> i won't make my job any easier tonight that striker was a crack flight leader up to a point one of those men who <laughs> Oh my God, dude! What the heck? What the heck, man, dude? It's like every scene. Every scene is just packed with a really funny joke, whether it's subtle or not. Like it's just so rewarding. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> I can sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, like, this, this is, this is genius. Like, this is really genius. Like, it, it makes it even funny because everyone else exists within this world. So everyone is just nonchalant. <laughs> oh, my. Everything's going to be all right. Sister, please, I'll handle this. I'm trying to get out of here. Oh, my goodness, yo. How? How do you, dude? It's like they think of an idea and then they just say, "How far can we go with this?" Your I am just floored by how brilliant that was. That's all I'm gonna say about that scene. All right, now I want you to disengage the automatic pilot. Yo, this is this is this is my type of comedy, man. <laughs> this is really it. Like these are the conversations I have with some of my close friends where we would just make up scenarios and just see how absurd we can make them. Tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine. <laughs> no way, man. Don't get that say, can't hang, say seven up. <laughs> Jive ass dude don't got no brains anyhow. Yo, bro, what? I I feel like I've heard that before. I feel like I've I've seen or heard that entire clip before. That is golden, man. Like that is just golden material. What kind of plane is? It? Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes. And curtains in the window and wheels and it looks like a big Tylenol. <laughs> how are you? How? How, man? Guys. I'm like, I think I'm suffering from um, intense joke exhaustion. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Like, it's just all so good. It's just, there's so much. There's so many jokes, man. Would you like a little whiskey, man? Certainly not. Yo. 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 How? How? The fact that they are engaging with all the passengers, too, is just freaking hilarious, man.
It must have been really fun being part of this set, especially if you're just like an extra. We're all ready, sir. This is Captain Lukowski, this is Captain Robert. I gotta say though, this pacing, this film's pacing is crack. <laughs> This thing is crack, man. Like, it's just nonstop. Where did you get that dress? It's awful on those shoes and that coat. Jeez. <laughs> Dude, that guy is a trip, man. He's coming in too fast. Watch your speed. He's coming right at us. <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, everybody in this film is probably super cool to talk to, man. <laughs> you kind of have to be to do comedy like this. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you. <laughs> See, like, if I was in this predicament, I would definitely just would do that. <laughs> like, dude... I kind of want to live in this society for probably like six hours. I would love to live in this society for six hours. I think six hours is all I can take before I would literally just go brain dead. <laughs> yeah, my brain's dead. My brain is done, so. My brain is done, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, and that was the end to Airplane. Well, I'll give him another 20 minutes. All right, everybody, we just got done wrapping up this absurd comedy Airplane. This, man, I gotta, I gotta find more gems like this. I gotta find more comedies like this because, dude, it's just, it's nonstop. It, this this airplane is a lethal weapon. <laughs> this airplane movie is a lethal weapon for the brain. Like if I was high or if I was like in any on any form of drugs watching this, I'm pretty sure my brain would explode <laughs> or I would die from laughing because I mean, what? This was like the family guy before family guys. I'm not sure when Family Guy was basically created, but like, dude, every scene, there was like a punchline within a punchline within a punchline that had a setup that was basically the punchline. It was crazy. Like, to do that for an hour and a half, do you know how, do you know how high you gotta be to do that? <laughs> you gotta be extremely high to do that. But that's what I'm saying, like, I, it's, it's films like this where, I don't know, like, I, I truly, love them so much because not only do they fit like my style of comedy a lot they just i could tell this inspired a lot of like other directors and their form of comedy as well like uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure like which to pull off from uh just mentally but like i mean just off the top i could definitely think of scary movie um i definitely think this is much more sophisticated than scary movie but i do uh have to say that scary movie does give off the same vibes as this you know because it's just absolutely absurd there's just so much happening so yeah you guys let me know what your thoughts are about this film i had a blast with this i mean it was just non-stop comedy just over and over and over again so i mean i can't complain about that at all so like always guys i hope that you guys are good i hope that you guys are great stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat